Hello and welcome to another R04 Studio Max video. Today, as you can see by the title, we are going to cover the use of TX files, why you should be using them, and how you can use these special file formats and the benefits you get. Now, I understand when everything is on fire and you just want to know which settings to use. Um, so for that, if you open the render setup and you go to the Arnold render tab, scroll down until you get to this section here called textures. Now in this section, with the latest update, you should have two options. The first option is use the existing TX textures. And this is the option that you want to use if previously you converted all the bitmaps you are using to TX files. This is something you have to do before. It doesn't, it doesn't happen automatically. Um, this is an option that works with the Arnold image and also with the OSL bitmap and OSL Uber bitmap. Now, if you want Arnold to do the heavy lifting for you, then yes, you have to use this option, auto convert textures to TX. Now, as the name says, obviously, this is going to automatically convert all the textures that you are using to TX files. This happens when you press render, but also happens when you are creating a material. So, for example, if you are creating a material, and in particular, if you're using a 4K, 8K uh, texture, and you connect to the shader, there is a slight delay, a couple of seconds, because in the background, the texture is being converted. So uh, this can be a little bit annoying. Um, my advice is if you're doing a lot of materials, it's just best if you just switch yourself, do all the materials and turn it on again and press render. Another thing to keep in mind is at the moment, the auto convert texture to TX only works with Arnold image. So it doesn't work with the OSL uh, Uber bitmap or with a normal bitmap. So this is how the TX files work inside Arnold. Okay, so now that we know how to use the TX files, the question is why you should be using them. And for that, let's have a look at the Arnold documentation. Uh, the Make TX, it's a tool that converts your bitmaps to TX files. And there is a couple of benefits of using this, uh, this file format. Um, actually, this is something you should be using right from the beginning of your project. The first thing is the fact that dramatically improves the time to the first pixel. And the time to the first pixel, it means the time it takes for Arnold to process your scene and start rendering the first pixels. So that gets quite improved because Arnold doesn't need to be loading a ton of 4K, 8K textures. It just loads what it needs to start rendering. Then another thing makes a big difference, and I think this is one of the big plus for me, it's the rendering time. And what I did is a very simple scene, a couple of materials, or 8K and 16K textures, precisely just to show you uh, how you can use really high resolution in terms of textures, but the rendering times can be quite low. So in this example here, I use TX files, and as you can see, hopefully you can see the number here, it's around four minutes, let's call it. And then I switch off the option to use TX files, I render it again, and this time took me 30 minutes. It's not a massive difference, it's around 9 minutes. Obviously, this is a very simple project, but you see the benefits of using a TX file, the more complex that the project you're working on gets. So in production, for example, uh, sometimes I have renders that take around 1 hour, 2 hours to render, but that's because I'm using a TX file. As soon as I switch the option off, what happens is the rendering time goes up to something like 6, 10, 12 hours. And the reason why that's happening is because I'm using a lot of 8K and 4K textures. When I'm using mega scans, I always go to the higher resolution I can get. Um, then I'm using perhaps you know some speed trees and I'm using 1K, 2K for the, for the leaves. Um, honestly, you don't have to worry in terms of the texture size because using TX files, the rendering time is going to be quite low. So that's one of the massive benefits, at least for me, of using a TX files is the rendering time is going to be shortened quite a lot. Then there is another benefit uh, that the documentation mentioned is related to the cache size. Now the cache size is how many um, RAM uh, gigs you can use to store all the textures that you need to start rendering. Now the default value is 4K, but this is more than enough for the majority of the projects that you'll be working on, as long, again, you're using TX files. So for example, if you have 8 gig on your computer, you still can render a very complex scene because Arnold is making use of a TX file just to load what it needs for that uh, pixel. There's another benefit, the last one, 
by using TX files is if you want to switch from CPU to GPU. Now in CPU, you can, let's say, go wild in terms of you know, the assets you're using. Um, but as long as you switch, when you switch to GPU, you know, GPU is quite fast, we all know that. And it doesn't matter if it's on a GPU, any rendered GPU has a limitation. And the limitation is whatever you have on your scene needs to fit your graphics card memory. So in this case, for example, my graphics card only has 8 gigs. So this entire scene needs to fit the 8 gigs that I have. If it goes above that 8 gigs, then you need to start optimizing your scene. The first thing you probably have to do is just convert all those 4K textures to 2K. This is, can be quite time consuming and making switch from GPU to CPU not very practical. But with Arnold, using TX files, you don't have to do any conversion. Because when you switch to GPU, there is another option here that appears, the GPU settings. So here I can tell Arnold, look, I know my texture is 8K, but I just want you to use a 2K texture. That's one of the big benefits also of using a TX file. It makes the switch between CPU and GPU quite easy. So you can pick this scene using uh, GPU to run an animation and just be very optimized because you are using 1K or 2K for your entire project. So those are the massive benefits you get by using TX files. Another thing I want to show you is that you can convert your bitmaps to TX files manually if you want to. Uh, I do that sometimes because not necessarily, this is something practical. If you just want to convert one or two textures, uh, you don't want necessarily to press render for that to happen. So you can do um, that conversion using a batch file. Obviously I'm going to share this with you. This is a batch file that what it's going to do, it's going to pick the, your selection and then it's going to use the make TX tool and using these couple of flags or the settings, it's going to convert that selection to a TX file. Um, like I said, I'm going to share this with you, but just keep in mind that if you're working with Max 2020 or 2019 or other version, you have to change uh, this uh, path here to the correct location. So obviously, if you're working with 2020, instead of 2021, you just replace with 2020. And then you're going to copy this file to a special folder. Let's call it that way. Uh, this is the folder. It's the Windows Send To. Right? Just copy the file here. And then what happens, and I'm just going to exemplify that to you, just moving this window here. What happens is, for example, if I want to convert like this, these textures here, when you right click and you go to send to, there is the option TX converter, the batch file. And then when you select it, automatically the conversion will happen. And once it's done, this one will close and the conversion is done and you can just uh, get back to your project. And, and that's basically how, how it works. It's very simple and it's a very practical tool at the same time. So that's basically what happens with TX files, why you should be using them. Well, because it makes your scene way faster to render. Um, it makes a better use of your hardware. It doesn't matter if you have a very powerful computer or not. You can still render very complex scenes. And at the same time, it makes everything a little bit more efficient as well. So I hope you find this video useful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, like I said, I'm going to share the batch file with you and also the location for the send to folder. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and take care.